Okay, we're going to find the x-intercept of this parabola. We have y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 15. And this is what we have to remember. Whenever we want to find the x-intercepts, right? First, we are going to let y to be 0 and then solve for x. Okay, so this is what we do whenever we want to find the x-intercepts. So it depends on the question. If the question is asking you guys to find the vertex of the parabola, you remember the formula negative b over 2a. Here we do the x-intercepts. This is what you have to remember, okay? So now let's do the work. Put the 0 for y right here, and then we have the x squared minus 2x minus 15. Haha. <laughs> and now how can we solve this equation? Notice that this is a quadratic equation, and we have the 0 on the right hand side or on the left hand side already. So this is good. We can just do this by factoring, right? So let's see. We know that x times x will give us x squared. And now, what times what will give us? Negative 15. And together, they add out to be negative 2. And the current combination in this case is positive 3 and negative 5, right? 3 times negative 5 give us negative 15. 3 minus 5 give us negative 2. So this is correct. And we have to continue. We will make the first factor, x plus 3, to be 0. And we also make the second factor, x minus 5, to be 0. Now from here, of course, we can just minus 3 on both sides. And we get x equal to negative 3. And on the other hand, we have plus 5 plus 5, so that we get x is equal to positive 5. So we did all the work. Now is how we are going to write down the answer. Remember, when we have a parabola, it's totally possible to have two x-intercepts, okay? In this case, we do have two of them. This is how we write down the answer. This is the x value for the first x-intercept. x is negative 3, and y is equal to 0, okay? So let's write it down right here. Here, is the, here are the x-intercepts. So, so for the first one, it's negative 3, comma, the y is 0. This is the first one. And the second one is, when x is 5, y is 0, because we make it to be so. And then right here, we are done. Okay? Be sure you write down the answer correctly as well. Do not just put negative 3, 5. That's not correct. Remember, the x value pairs up with this y value. Likewise, this x value pairs up with the 0 for the y value. That's it.